isolation um, pretty well right now. We are able to um, swim, bike, run as, as needed. And so training hasn't really, on a day-to-day -day basis, kind of looks pretty similar to what we would be typically doing, except for obviously there's no racing, so that's challenging. There were a bit, a few low moments, but I was really fortunate. I talked to a sports psychologist and uh, talking to Joel, talking to Tommy to really help me out of those lower moments um, because it's just hard not knowing uh, what we're doing, what we're preparing for. So um, I started finding more of a rhythm and routine and appreciating kind of what the silver linings were during this time, which is I spent way more time with my mom and dad and my family. Um, I saw my sister like choose her wedding dress. I um, got to volunteer for um, the Baltimore Hunger Project. Um, so there's been, there's been moments that I know wouldn't have happened if this situation didn't happen. So I try to look at the bright side of things. And, and now we're, we do have races on the schedule and so we're gaining momentum in training. But definitely having those people of support has really helped me stay in a good place and in a good mindset throughout all this. My goals right now are um, <laughs> to build up my fitness for hopefully racing. It's aiming for the races that are scheduled with a little bit of an awareness that they might not happen, but um, I like having them on the schedule. I like being able to build fitness towards them. And then if they don't happen, we can regroup. And if they happen, I'll be ready. But ultimately, it's all in preparation for uh, qualifying for the Tokyo 2021 Olympics and getting ready for the next uh, World Triathlon and Super League Series.